We've done Premier League strikers, we've done Premier League wingers, and now today we are going to do Premier League cams. If you guys are new to this series, you could say, what we're going to do is we're going to try work through the top five leagues, the Ligue 1, Serie A, Bundesliga, La Liga, and Premier League, and we are going to rank different positions. I want to, at the end of this, do like a whole video around like when I've done every single position, like goalie, centre backs, full backs, uh, you know, wingers, strikers, midfielders. What I want to do is I want to make it like a, a, you know, maybe a 30 minute video going over all of them at one time so you can watch that video on set if you want. But today, boys, we are going to be focusing on Premier League cams. Now, in the strikers, in the Premier League strikers, we had 14 strikers, I'm pretty sure, um, to, you know, put into the cheap, good, and elite tiers. For the wingers, we had 16 or 17, and today, we've actually only got around 10 cams, because believe it or not, lads, I was actually surprised. There's not too much Premier League cams this time around, because lots of the bigger teams um, usually only have, like, one cam, and obviously, we are disregarding all of the, you know, the, the cams that not much people will use. For example, Dali Ali, Ross Barkley, we're obviously not going to be including those boys because I've only got like 68 pace and, and Dali Ali's an 80 rated gold common. So we're only going to be, you know, ranking cams that, you know, actually have some use about them. Um, the cams that we didn't rank would be literally a tier below cheap. They just weren't good enough to make this tier list. Obviously, boys, cheap tier is, is the cheaper options. Doesn't necessarily mean they're bad, but more, you know, the, the cheaper options are ones that you're going to be wanting to get at the beginning of the game. Mid tier is the ones that, you know, you are actually really solid you could use them for like maybe a month or so before they start getting outdated and then elite tier is the best possible premier league cams now boys just a heads up as well if you are new to the to the channel and you are enjoying the series make sure to drop a like and subscribe we're gonna upload play reviews objective guides fifa 22 is going to be an absolute blast lads i am very very excited without further ado boys let's get into it. so first cam on our list that goes in a cheap of the cheap tier. As you guys know, you work from uh, left to right, so you go cheap, good, and then elite. The first cam that is going into the cheap tier is going to be Rodrigo for Leeds. Now, last year, he was an 82 rated striker. He's had a minus three. He didn't have a great, and I say he didn't have a great. He was very, very underwhelming at Leeds. He, I wouldn't say he flopped, but... He wasn't great at all, especially for like the 25, 30 million that Leeds did, did, did pay for him. Personally, I don't think he was a great signing whatsoever, but still, he's always going to be a meter boy. His position changed from a striker to a cam, and the beauty of Rodrigo is he's got 86 pace still, so you could use him as a central cam, you could move him up to a striker, or he'd benefit you so much if you play a 4 2 3 1 or a 4 triple 2, because you could play him at left or right cam, as he's got the pace attributes, and in a way, he'll kind of work as a winger. He can run in behind, cut inside, and I feel like he's still going to be a very meta boy. He's got the skill moves. His weak foot's not great. I'm pretty sure he's four star, three star. His, but like I said, he's got the pace. His shooting is okay. Passing, okay. His dribbling is good. And he's got the skill moves. He's got the work rates as well of high, medium as well. So he's literally bang on. He's a very nice, cheap one. Uh, he'll probably cost between 20, 10 and 20,000 coins. He won't be as expensive as his 82 rated striker was last year. Uh, around He was extinct at 50k at one point. He's not going to be nowhere near as expensive as he was last year. So still, boys, not a bad cam whatsoever and like I said he's a versatile one as well you can move him up to striker center forward or you can play him right cam left cam doesn't really matter Rodrigo has it in his locker next up boys we've actually only got three of these cams in a cheap tier next up is going to be Mason Mount and honestly if you're going off for your life surely he'd be in a good tier um, but sadly, EA just don't want to give him pace. He's got 74 pace, which isn't necessarily bad, because if you chuck a Hunter on him, he'll go to like 84, or if you chuck the right chem style, that gives him that plus 10 pace boost, whether it's a Hunter or a, a Catalyst, um, he will get a plus 10 and go to 84 pace in game. His shooting isn't crazy as well, it's around the 79 mark. His passing and dribbling are the two main things about him. He's got the good skill, he's got the good weak foot, sorry, or four star weak foot, but he does only have three star skill moves, I'm pretty sure, uh, just like last year, which is very, very unfortunate and I mean he's a baller in real life don't get me wrong but sadly he's just not going to last um, too long into the game cycle in FIFA 22 so he's a very good cheap starter cam but he's going to be nothing more than that like I said chuck a hunter on him you'll probably want to look at replacing him after a week or so next up boys we have gone for a personal favorite of mine I am an Arsenal fan he's just scored a banger of a free kick against Burnley and it is a man Martin Odegaard himself now he got a minus one which I mean 
I wouldn't say he actually had an okay season. He didn't have a spectacular season, didn't have a poor season, obviously settling into the Premier League. But either way, an 82 rated. His stats have significantly decreased as well, which is very unfortunate. But still, uh, he's got like 77 pace. His shooting of 74 isn't anything crazy. His passing is really nice. His dribbling is class. And the skill moves is absolutely sensational. Once again, he's one of the cards. He's a lefty, so you know you can play him as a right cam, central cam. If you do play him out on the right, you can cut inside and finish that with his left, try go for that top bins. Not a bad, cheap starting card whatsoever, but once again, not good enough when you do look at our good tier. Now, as, as I said, there's only three of these cams in the cheap tier. There's genuinely not much Premier League cams. Um, obviously, we are, you know, disregarding the, the lower tier ones. So, boys, heading on over to the good tier. We are going to start off with a man himself, Phil Foden. Now, a very deserved upgrade from a 79 to an 84, I'm pretty sure it is. So, he's gotten a plus five upgrade. Very, very fair. He won the Prem Carabao Cup. Uh, and obviously made it to the UCL final and he played a massive part in City's uh, UCL final run so very very fair with this one boys 84 rated very nice pace shooting is class dribbling and body type will be sensational the only issue about him is going to be that physical but still you'd probably be able to get away with using him for like a couple weeks maybe even a month compared to you know the cheat tier we could only probably get like a week or two use out of him next up boys we have gone for Kai Havertz who's gotten a minus one he did score the winner against Phil Foden's Man City. He did score the winner for the, in the UCL final. Uh, he's a UCL winner. I think that's the only trophy uh, Chelsea did win. They made it to the FA Cup finals, got top four, and obviously won the UCL. So, I mean, Kai Havertz, I wouldn't say he, you know, he started off shaky for sure, but I feel like this season, lads, Kai Havertz is going to blow up. He's going to have an absolutely brilliant season in the Premier League, in my opinion. Uh, so he did get a minus one, and I feel like, you know, considering he had a rocky start, that's not all too unfair. But nonetheless, boys, he's going to be a very nice striker to use, or sorry, a nice camp to use and what I was going to say is you can even play him up front as a striker. He's 4 star, 4 star. His pace, especially with a Hunter or you know the Kretz Chem style if you want to go through a Catalyst to get that plus 10 pace. He's very versatile but I'd probably you know, recommend to play him central. Whether it's Cam, center forward or striker he's going to do a shift for you. Very very nice card. He's probably going to be you know 50k plus as well. He won't be cheap by any means. Very nice card though. Next up boys we are going to go for another Manchester City player and that is Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva um, a very very nice card his position changed from a right wing to a cam and I absolutely loved this dude's informs during FIFA 21 obviously it's a whole new game so he's going to be a whole lot different but as a cam you know his pace is okay his dribbling is 100% his best attribute his agility balance is absolutely class his physical obviously does have some work you, you want to you know give that physical up a little bit but he does have the four star skill moves as well which is very nice he's got the skill moves got the pace got the passing and got his dribbling his shooting as well is very solid he's going to be a very nice cam to have in the squad now boys last but not least probably one of the lower ones i was tempted to put him in the cheap tier but he did just clinch for good tier and the reason behind it is because he's so versatile and that is the man himself in Dombale from tottenham he got a plus two upgrade for tottenham tottenham didn't even play him too much i don't think um I think, I think they've had like half the games, I'm pretty sure. Obviously, Tottenham did have a poor season um, with lots of different managers. And I know Ndombele is not playing too much for Spurs right now. Um, but still, he's got a plus two upgrade. And Ndombele is a very, very good player. He, I rate him very highly. Very, very good baller. Now, his stats are very solid. Very well-rounded stats. Not too bad at all. And the reason I have put him in a good tier instead of a cheap tier is because he's versatile. And what I mean by that is you can play one game. You can play him as a cam. Say, if you, you know do your custom tactics and you say your attacking formation is like a 4-3-1-2, you can, attacking-wise, play him as a cam. But then if you want to go defensive, you can drop him back down to centre mid. He can play centre mid, CDM with a shadow. He can play cam. Probably wouldn't play him on the wing, but you, you guys get what I mean. He's similar to Bruno Fernandes, if that makes sense. You know, he can play anywhere in the midfield, and he can do that very well. So that is why I have put him in the good tier. Now, boys, going on to the elite tier, and I told you guys, there's not too much Premier League cams this time around, but the elite tier here is a mix of two players and we're going to go from the one now I don't think it's as good as the other to the other one now I think it's better so boys we're going to go for the first elite tier cam in a Premier League it's going to be Bruno Fernandes he's got 88 rated this year personally I think he deserved 89 or I wouldn't say 90 but I think he definitely deserved an 89 um, and obviously I know United fans you know feel shafted with that and I would too he was one of the best midfielders in the league this year very very good player four star and I believe he's only got a three star weak foot so he's four 
four-star, three-star. But the thing about him is he's very versatile as well. Uh, like, I literally just compared Endon Ballet to a B-Tech Bruno. Bruno is the main man himself, Bruno. You know, he can play cam very well. He's got some nice shooting. His pace isn't anything spectacular. Um, but if you do, like I said, get that plus 10 pace boost with, that, with a correct chem style, um, you know, his shooting will skyrocket up with a hunter. Get that pace boost, passing boost as well. His dribbling... Um, isn't crazy, crazy. his on the ball dribbling is good, but his agility and balance isn't spectacular, but still he'll do the job very well, and once again, he is a player that is very versatile in the midfield. Now boys, the most elite Premier League cam, you guys have guessed it yourself, in my opinion, the best midfielder currently in the world, or the best cam in the world, you can say, or attacking centre mid, is Kevin De Bruyne. Now, I do want to clarify, De Bruyne is classed as a centre mid this year, but we all know De Bruyne to be a cam, don't we? So I have made him a cam, he is a centre mid and once again similar to Bruno he's a player that can play CDM with a shadow he can play centre mid he can play cam and the reason I have made him the most elite Premier League cam is like I said in real life he plays as a very attacking minded centre mid if you will so he's basically a cam in real life and EA have given him a centre mid um, usually when you think of like best cam you think of De Bruyne right you, you, you don't you know um, think of best centre mid as De Bruyne that's just my opinion so I have you know class Kevin De Bruyne as a cam for today but still in my opinion he is the most elite Premier League cam uh, his one, similar to Bruno he, I think he's got one less pace than Bruno his pace isn't crazy but his shooting is insane his passing is phenomenal his dribbling like agility balance isn't crazy but it, once again similar with Bruno his on the ball is very nice like his ball control and reactions and composure um, and then obviously his defending of 64 if you do want to play him as a CDM or a box to box centre mid you can chuck a shadow on him absolutely perfect his physical as well is not bad at all and the beauty of K KDB is he is 4 star 5 star he's got the 5 star weak foot which is absolutely beautiful lads this, do this does conduct the uh, you know the Premier League cams tier list once again just to clarify um, the cheap doesn't necessarily mean bad, but the cheaper options, the good options, are the ones that you, you're going to be wanting to look uh, that you're going to want to be used uh, longer than the cheap tier. And obviously, the elite ones are the best possible ones in the in that particular league, which today we are obviously focusing on the Premier League. Now, if I did have to pick one player from each slot and say which one I think is best worth it for the cheap tier, out of Odegaard, Mason Mount, or Rodrigo, personally, my heart is going to lie with Rodrigo. Reason behind it, once again, is you hear. He can play striker in game. He can drop down a centre forward cam. He can play left or right cam as well, as he's got that pace to kind of work as a as a winger. You know, like a wide cam. You know, running in behind, if you will. Now, I would probably rank um, Odegaard just behind that. He's got the nice skill moves. He's got really nice dribbling. Then obviously Mason Mount, a little bit shafted with the pace this year. Now, if I had to pick one out of a good tier, out of Bernardo Silva, Foden, Havertz, or Ndombele, my heart is going to probably lie with either Havertz or Bernardo Silva. Um, I feel like. Foden Foden is very close, I'd probably say Foden's a third there, but he just really does lack that strength, and I feel like Havertz as well is going to be a class striker, and obviously Bernardo Silva as well, is, his dribbling is so, so silky, some of the best dribbling I've ever used in, in, in the past, he's absolutely class, and obviously for the elite, I'm assuming, uh, I, if I had to guess, I'd probably say that KDB will be a lot more expensive than Bruno, by maybe a solid 100,000 coins, so if I did have to choose out of the two, I'd say KDB's a better card, but we really have to wait until the market settles a bit bit more to see which one you know is more worth it if you will um, but still boys hopefully this video did help you out if I did miss some as well make sure to let me know down below as I said we did leave out some of the Premier League cams that aren't as desirable because there's no point putting an 80 rated Dali Ali in this because in my opinion Dali Ali is worse than every single player on this cheap tier list if you know what I mean so we did leave out obviously the Premier League cams that didn't make it and you'd actually be surprised if there's not as much Premier League cams as you guys would think at all because lots of the big teams only have like one cam for example Liverpool don't have a single cam I've got Cena Ford and Bobby Firmino who he counted as a striker and then I've got obviously Hendo as a DM and Thiago as a centre mid and Cater and Ox as centre mids so like Liverpool is a very good example they don't have a single cam in their team so it is not nowhere near as much cams as I thought next up boys we're probably going to be focusing on centre mids um, or box to box centre mids if you will and then we're going to look at CDMs and go through the back line if you guys did enjoy make sure to drop a like and subscribe Subscribe for more FIFA 22 content. Sweden your boy Davis, and until next time, peace out, lads.